Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be making a mushroom. So what you'll need is two different colors of yarn, scissors, your crochet hook, which I'm using a 4.5 millimeter, but you could also use a five millimeter, whatever you're comfortable with, a stitch marker, paper string needle. You'll also need some stuffing. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by making the stem of the mushroom. So how we're gonna start this is you need to make a magic circle. So just wrap the yarn around your finger twice like this, okay? And then get your crochet hook and go underneath the first loop, grab the second loop, pull it under the first loop, and then hold that together with your hand. And then into this magic circle, we're going to make 12 half double crochets. So how you do that is you yarn over, go through the circle, pull up a loop, so you'll have three loops on your hook and then you need to yarn over and pull through all three. The first uh, half double crochet can be a little tricky, but there you go. You got the first half double crochet. So now we're gonna go on to do 11 more. So I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so now you need to pull your magic circle tight like that, just by pulling on the end of the short yarn. And then into the first loop, um, you're gonna do a half double crochet. But before I do that, I'm just gonna kind of count to make sure I have all 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. So I'm gonna make one more because I need 12. All right, and then into this first stitch, I'm gonna do a half double crochet. So yarn over, go through that stitch, pull up a loop and pull through all three. And right here is where we need to put our stitch marker. So just push it through like that, okay? And then we're gonna be starting on round two now. And for round two and round three, you just do a half double crochet in every single stitch. So you should still end up having 12 stitches at the end of the next two rounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this part, but it's literally just a half double crochet in every stitch for the next two rounds. Now I'm going to take out that stitch marker and then you're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch as well. Replace your stitch marker. Okay, so it should be looking like this so far. All right, and then into that next stitch, you need another half double crochet. And then into the next stitch, you're going to be making a decrease into these two stitches right here. Um, so it's going to be a half double crochet decrease, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So you yarn over, go through the next stitch, pull through, and then before you yarn over and pull through, you need to yarn over and then you need to go through this stitch right here, pull up a loop, so you should have five loops on your hook. And then you yarn over and you pull through all five loops. So that was our half double crochet decrease. So now we're gonna repeat that three times until we get nine stitches. Okay, so we're now at the end of that round. So take out your stitch marker. And now we're just gonna do half double crochet in every stitch. So this will be the first stitch. So half double crochet, replace your stitch marker. Okay. And then you're just gonna do half double crochet all the way around. So you'll still have nine stitches and you need to do that twice. So for the next two rounds, 
it's just a half double crochet in every stitch. Okay, so we've done the two rounds of half double crochet in every stitch. So we're now at the end of that. So what we need to do is tie it off and then leave a long end for sewing. So all you're gonna do is just into that first stitch, do a slip stitch like that. And then we'll leave a pretty long end, I'm gonna say about that much. And then you just pull this all the way through like that. And so it's secure, tighten it, all right? And that's what it should look like. So now we're gonna go to the next step, which is making this uh, the top of the mushroom. So for this, you'll need your orange yarn. All right, so for the mushroom top, it also starts with a magic circle. So yarn over like this, and then just get that second loop, pull it under the first, there you go. And then into this magic circle, we're going to do six single crochet. So for single crochet, you don't need to yarn over. You just go through, pull a loop up. So you have two on your hook, and then you yarn over and pull through. And that is your first uh, single crochet, so we need to do five more. Okay, so now pull on the short end of the magic circle to tighten it, and then you need to do a single crochet in that first um, stitch, which on this one, I can already tell it's going to be really hard to put my hook through, so I'm just going to make an extra stitch um, so that I can go through the second stitch instead of that first one that's really tight. Um, so just, if you do this, just make sure you count and you still just have six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're good. And now we're going to go into this stitch, which is technically the second stitch, and we're going to make a single crochet. And then that's where we're gonna do our stitch marker. So this first stitch is actually going to be an increase. So we already did one single crochet in that stitch. So to make it an increase, we need to do another single crochet in that same stitch. So just go through the same stitch, pull up a loop and pull through. So that was our first increase. Now we need to do an increase in every stitch after that. So for the next five stitches, we're gonna be doing an increase. Okay, so at the end of that round, you should have 12 stitches in total at the end of this round. So you can take out your stitch marker, and now we're just going to do 12 single crochet all the way around. So this one's our first stitch, so we do a single crochet, replace our stitch marker, and then you need to do a single crochet all the way around, and you should still have 12 stitches. All right, so now we need to take out our stitch marker into that stitch. You're gonna do a single crochet. Okay, replace the stitch marker. Into the next stitch, you're gonna do an increase. Okay, 
And for the rest of this round, we're gonna follow that same pattern. So single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, and keep doing that until you get 18 stitches. Okay, so we're at the end of this round now. So take out your stitch marker, put a single crochet right there, and replace your stitch marker. Okay, so now for this round, you literally just do 18 single crochets, so a single crochet in every stitch. I'm gonna speed through this part and I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so now we're at the end of that round. We can take out our stitch marker and into that stitch you're gonna do a single crochet as well. So replace that stitch marker and then do another single crochet in the next stitch. And then you need to do a single crochet increase in this stitch. Okay, and so for this round, it's gonna follow that same pattern. Single crochet, single crochet, increase. And just until you get to the end of the round, which you should have 24 stitches at the end of this round. All right, so we're at the end of this round. We have 24 stitches. So you can take out your stitch marker, put a slip stitch through that stitch. So just pull through like that. And now you can cut your yarn. Just tighten it like that. Okay, and then we'll weave in this end later. So this is the top. Um, afterwards, we're gonna go through with white yarn and add like little specks everywhere, but we'll do that like once our mushroom is assembled. Um, so now we can go on to the next step, which is the bottom of the mushroom. Okay, so for the bottom of our mushroom, we are going to be using white yarn or whatever yarn color you use for the stem you're gonna also wanna use for the bottom of the top of the mushroom. So it begins also with a magic circle, so do that, and then into the magic circle we're going to do six half double crochet, so yarn over, go through the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, there we go, and then we need to have six in total. So now, um, into this first stitch, you're gonna do a half double crochet increase. So yarn over, go through the first stitch. Oops, there we go. So half double crochet like that, and then we need to mark that stitch because it's the beginning of our round two. And then we needed an increase, so since it's a half double crochet increase, you do a half double crochet in the same exact stitch. And then we're gonna do an increase in every single stitch. So we should end up with 12 stitches. Okay, so we have 12 stitches, so now we're gonna do a 
half double crochet in the next stitch. Replace our stitch marker. Okay, so we did a half double crochet in that first stitch right there. So now in this next stitch, we need to do a half double crochet increase. So yarn over and do two in the same stitch. All right, so now we're gonna repeat this pattern for the rest of the round. So you just do half double crochet, half double crochet increase until you get 18 stitches. All right, so we're gonna take out the stitch marker into that stitch. You're gonna do another half double crochet. Replace the stitch marker. And then you're gonna do two half double crochet and then a half double crochet increase. So that was the first one. So we need to do another half double crochet and then the third would be a half double crochet increase. And you're gonna repeat that pattern until you have 24 stitches all the way around. All right, so now you can take your stitch marker out, do a slip stitch into that stitch, and now you do need to leave a long end on uh, this so that we can sew it onto the top of our mushroom. So just get some yarn, make sure you have, you know, quite a bit enough to be able to sew it on. Cut it. Then pull it all the way through. Tighten it. And now we are going to go on to assemble the mushroom. Okay, so now we are ready for assembly. Um, you will have some ends like this. Uh, don't really worry about them. You can always just weave them in later. If you wanna go ahead and get rid of them, you can weave them in now. I'm just gonna wait until I'm done. So the first step of assembly is I'm going to put these two together, which is our top and the bottom of the mushroom. So you will need your tapestry needle for this and your stuffing, which is this stuff. All right, so get this long end of the white part, thread it through the needle, and then take the top of the mushroom and then just kind of line them up as best you can like this okay so go through the white part and then through kind of feel with your hand or your thumb um go through like the middle of the red part of the mushroom but you just don't want your needle to show through on this side but you do need to go through some of those stitches just not like all the way through so that your needle is showing but like kind of through the middle Whoops, there you go. Hopefully y'all can see that. And then just pull it out, like so. So you are going to do that around the entire thing. You could even go through it um, a couple times uh, if you wanted to, but before we like completely close it up, we need to stuff it. So I'm gonna fast forward until I get to a good point to stuff the mushroom and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so now we kind of have like a little pocket here where we can stuff the mushroom. So take some of your polyfill and then just kind of shove it in there. Okay, and this part you can really just decide what you think looks best if you want to put more or less in there. Um, and then I kind of like to make the top look a little more filled out, so I just push it up like that. Like, push the bottom part up. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit more. I think that'll be good. Okay, 
so now you just continue sewing all the way around like I said you can go over it you know two times three times however many you want just to make sure it's pretty secure um, I'm going to probably do this part off camera uh, just because it's pretty straightforward and then I will uh, show you the next part which is how to attach the stem onto the bottom here <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did end up making this, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.